Hi, my name is Martin Nielsen and I'm an equine parasitologist here at the University of Kentucky. I run a research program aiming at providing solutions for equine parasite control for horse owners and veterinarians across the world. We develop new diagnostic tests and validate them. We refine and validate existing tests. We test both current and possible future deworming products uh, and evaluate them. Uh, we study the mechanisms behind drug resistance and we study reactions that horses may have to parasite infection as well as the treatment of those parasites. So all in all, we strive to educate and enable you in order to make the right decisions for parasite control on your farms. So drug resistance is a major problem in equine parasite control. I was very excited to hear about this project that was being undertaken by people at Penn State University. Extension educator Donna Folk and veterinarian Dr. Ed Jedrosevsky obtained a grant to help pro propagate and disseminate the information about the value of parasite testing and efficacy screening on horse farms in the state of Pennsylvania. I was very excited to be invited to become part of this project and help get this off the ground. So to give you a little bit of background, um, it is abundantly clear by now and we have a growing body of evidence demonstrating that the good old calendar-based treat-all approaches for parasite control are the main reason for all the drug resistance we see today. Because of all this uh, resistance, which only seems to get worse year after year, the recommendations given by people like me, parasitologists and veterinarians, is to abandon that old calendar-based approach and instead take a parasite testing-based approach for parasite control instead. We need to test. We need to test to find out about the efficacy of the treatment. We need to know which types of parasite eggs each horse is shedding. And we need to know what level of shedding each horse has. With that information, we can do um, a tailored approach for parasite control. By now, virtually every equine veterinarian in this country should know about this new approach. And I know many horse owners know about it as well. But have people really acted upon this? Have people fundamentally changed their approach for parasite control? The answer is not nearly enough. We were part of a large survey that was conducted over the past couple of years across this country. Um, people went to horse operations in 28 different states and asked them about parasite control. Less than 20% of those respondents had ever done a single parasite egg count. And less than 10% were using parasite egg counts on a routine best basis. I must admit that this really surprised me. I, I thought we would have been better off by now. But what I, my take home is, what I learned from this is that we just need to do so much better on educating about this and getting the right message out. So back to this project, this is why I'm so excited about it. Because the Penn State project really did exactly this. Uh, I was excited to get the opportunity to travel to the state and uh, talk to veterinarians about how to best get uh, their clients, their horse owners, um, to make the right decisions about parasite control. Uh, with all the energy that we saw, we demonstrated very clearly the value of testing uh, for parasites, especially testing for drug efficacy. And uh, we were able to fundamentally change uh, the approach for parasite control taken on a lot of farms in the state of Pennsylvania. I, I think this is a wonderful model that I think could be just as successful in other states. My bottom line is if, if Pennsylvania could do it, why not everywhere? Why not across the United States? So. With that, I'll just leave you with my bottom line recommendation, which is test what you're doing. That is the way forward. Thank you very much.